Hello friends, uh, welcome to Windows. In today's video, you will learn how to update from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing data. First of all, you need to confirm if your PC is eligible to receive Windows 11 upgrade. Check the link in the description to find out how to do that using Microsoft's PC Health Check app for Windows 11. Now during the checkup, if you receive an error message, this PC can't run Windows 11, then this video is not for you. Check the link in the description to learn how to install Windows 11 on PC with unsupported hardware. If you made up to this part, of the video then I presume that your device is eligible so keep watching the video. Usually if your PC is eligible Microsoft already offer Windows 11 upgrade via Windows update. So check if it is available for you or not. For that open Windows update setting page. Here on the right side check if you receive similar Windows 11 upgrade message then click on the download and install button and Windows update will automatically download and install Windows 11 for you. You don't need to do anything. The process will take around 30 to 50 minutes. If there is no Windows 11 upgrade available for you then click on the check for update button and check if any update is available or not. If no Windows 11 upgrade is available, then don't worry, you can upgrade to Windows 11 manually. Let's learn how to do that. First of all, you need to download Windows 11 Update Assistant app from Microsoft site. After that, run the setup file. When USB dialog box appear, click yes to continue. Windows 11 Update Assistant app will open up and check for PC compatibility. In some cases, it will ask for running PC Health Check app. We have already did this, so ignore and click on refresh button. Continue. Next, you need to check license agreement and click accept and install button. After doing this, Windows 11 Update Assistant will instantly start the Windows 11 upgrade process. First of all, setup will start downloading Windows 11. The process will take around 15 to 20 minutes depending on your internet connection speed. Next, setup will start verifying the download. Next, setup will start installing Windows 11 on your PC. After that, system will restart automatically after particular time period. Here you can restart manually as well. At last, system will complete the final upgrade process, which will take around 15 to 20 minutes again. Once upgrade process complete, you will be presented Windows 11 lock screen. Here you need to enter the same pin that you use in Windows 10 to log into your PC. At last, you will see the Windows 11 home screen. Now you can start using the Windows 11 and share your experience with me in the comments. In case you didn't find Windows 11 useful, then you have 10 days to go back to Windows 10 without losing data. Check the link in the description to learn how to do that. In case you think that 10 days are not sufficient to test Windows 11, then check the link in the description to learn how to extend rollback period from 10 days to 60 days in Windows 11. So that's it guys. I hope you find this video useful.